50 men took their chance in Edmonton, Canada for the sixth stop in this year's ITU World Triathlon Series. The Spanish came in first, second and third in the standings with Mario Mola leading Fernando Alaza and Javier Gomez. Jacob Bertwistle there had come second in Hamburg a few weeks previously and helped his country in the mixed team relay. Johnny Brownie was back after illness kept him out of the Hamburg race. And being a sprint, it was just 750 metres to swim in the Hall at Lake. Glorious conditions in Edmonton. A big field though, 50 of them, and there was a bit of congestion going around the boy as you would have expected. But a familiar name up front, Richard Varga. The 30th time he'd led out the water, 8 minutes 37, the fastest non-wetsuit WTS sprint race swim in history. Not too much separation though. The likes of Brownlee, Royal and others would have wanted to get away on the bike. In the event, they established just a 15-second advantage early, but then couldn't hold on to it. Mario Mola coming in off the back of three previous victories this season, including an effortless performance in Hamburg last time out in the sprint race. Royal and Varga out front early, but with five kilometers to go on the bike, a large group all together. And they featured all the big names. Murray, Basil Louis in there, along with Johnny Brownlee, and all the Spaniards. No dramas in transition. That was to come. Just a question of who would be the best on the day over 5,000 meters. Quick change for Mario Mola. Make sure that helmet was in the box. No time penalty for anyone, so certainly none of the main protagonists. But all the big names were there. And it didn't take too long for the big four to make their way to the front. Mola, Brownlee, Murray and Javier Gomez. A sprint race, not Gomez's speciality. But he would still score good points today. And Burt Whistle just back in fifth. And we know he always runs better in the latter part of the race. However, his maths wasn't too good. He miscalculated. He thought this was coming towards the end of the race. It wasn't. There were three laps to run, not two. Mola gave him a quizzical look as he sprinted past him. When he realised, pretty late on, his mistake. He went down the finish chute, and so had to find a way to get back onto the course proper. He gave us his best Ed Moses impression. Just have a look at this. You don't see this every day in triathlon. He wasn't penalised because he hadn't actually taken a shortcut. In fact, he'd run further than anyone else in the field. However, the lactic acid clearly building up in his legs. Mola would breeze past the Aussie. It was then a tremendous battle between Burt Whistle and the chasing Richard Murray for silver and bronze. No doubt where the gold was going. Mario Mola absolutely superb. His 11th WTS victory, drawing him level with Johnny Brownlee on the all-time list, joint third. Gomez has 13, Alistair Brownlee 22. And Burt Whistle somehow found the reserves to hold off Murray, and despite that miscalculation, successive silvers for the Australian. Murray in third, his third podium in Edmonton. He clearly loves the course here. And Johnny Brownlee, on his return to racing, was back in fourth. For the first time this season, Mola takes over at the top of the standings, a near 500-point lead. He's had four races now this term. Alistair Brownlee, with five, holds the record. Mola with the opportunity to at least equal, or possibly even better that. But the way he's racing, with an improved swim, brave bike, and his usual brilliant run, it will take someone to produce something really special to overhaul him. We'll see him next in Montreal in seven days' time. Yeah, uh, I do. Uh, I feel like things couldn't have been uh, gone better today. Uh, I, I did the best I could. Uh, I'm happy I had a, another decent swim. Uh, last couple of years, that was only a fighting, so I'm, I'm pleased with the, only the swim. And yeah, it was a challenging course, uh, but we rode uh, pretty hard for the first couple of laps. And yeah, then it was a, a finish run. And I saw Jake uh, moving in the second lap. I thought that was the end of the world. But yeah, uh, lucky enough, I could uh, get back to him and then feel the, uh, get the extra kick, the final kick.